Ben McKee, Patrick Brown here, Go Vols 247 live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at Heinz Field, where Tennessee just completed a thrilling overtime 34-27 win over the Pitt Panthers, a big top 25 win. It may not have been the prettiest win, Patrick. It may not have been the prettiest football, but they got the win, and that's all that matters at the end of the day, especially when you look around the rest of the country and you see A&M lost, you see the other teams losing. A win is a win. Yeah, especially when you go on the road and beat a top 25 team, a defending champion of a Power 5 league. Uh, it's a big deal, and Tennessee hasn't had enough of those lately to nitpick and feel bad about it. You, I mean, Josh Heifel, you could tell how much it meant to him. Uh, a gutty performance by his team. Uh, it says a lot about a team when you, you don't play your best and you still just find a way. Uh, and this is definitely one of those find a way kind of wins for Tennessee tonight. Yeah, Josh Heifel said it was a program win tonight. Uh, the defense, we, we can pick get apart over the next two weeks. We'll have plenty of time to do that. Didn't play perfect football by any stretch of the imagination. But they were put in bad position after bad position time and time again. And time and time again, they bailed the offense out. Yeah, he felt like in the third quarter with, with Pitt having a backup quarterback in the game that – Tennessee just needed to get up two scores, and they would have, you know, they could be comfortable in this game. And uh, the offense just no showed the second half. I really think the defense bailed out the offense and the special teams. Since he had a punt block, Trayvon Flowers muffed the punt uh, to give Pitt a short field. I think they started three possessions uh, in Tennessee territory, only scored 10 points off those. So uh, in Tennessee, you know, they had some fourth down issues defensively, gave up a couple. You're like, will they ever get one? They finally got to one at the end after Trayvon Flowers made up for his mistake with a big sack on third down to force the fourth and goal at the 20. Yeah, and we're, we're always reminded every now and then about how important special teams is. There's always that random game. Like every five, six, seven football games you watch, you remember how important special teams is. And that was tonight. Pitt misses two field goals to start the, the second half. Tennessee they, made a 51-yard field Tennessee goal. Tennessee made a heck of a 51-yard field goal. Chase McGrath, which uh, proved to be the difference in the game in terms of going to overtime. Uh, and then the month punt, which is really why the game went to overtime because Keaton Slovis goes down. He leaves the game. Uh, Patty comes in, Nick Patty comes in the backup, and he just wasn't really moving the offense. The muffed punt gives them a, a short field, and they were able to take advantage of it. Uh, but Tennessee special teams, although it had a, a big glaring mistake, just a little bit better than Pitts, and I think it was the difference in the game. Yeah, I, I would probably say the defense was the difference in the game. Uh, I thought Tennessee had a great game plan coming out. They came out and were aggressive. Uh, even before Slovis was knocked out of the game, they were putting a pretty good beating on him, uh, hitting him a lot. and. Uh, they were able to do the same there. Had a lot of pressures. I think ESPN threw up a stat. Was it like 25 quarterback pressures most since he's had in 10 years? So um, great great game by that front. But, yeah, you know, the kick was big that McGrath and the three points that Tennessee court sort of stole there right before halftime yep. loomed large, too, where uh, they got the, the fumble with Ty, uh, Tyler Barron and, and the field goal they made there. So uh, we thought this game might be a shootout. It didn't turn out that way. It turned into a pretty ugly game in the second half. But uh, Tennessee finally made the play at the end to, to get the win. They did, and, and we do need to discuss before we get out of here just how good that defensive front was. Last week, immediately after the Ball State game, you're thinking zero sacks on the stat sheet. That doesn't look good. It didn't feel good, but as the week went on, we talked about it. We wrote about it at Go Balls 247. You go back and watch, and you saw that Tennessee was actually getting pressure on the Ball State quarterback. Ball State was just doing a good job of getting the ball out, doing some schematics, um, but Tennessee was generating pressure, and you certainly – Saw that tonight. Hit after hit on Keaton Slovis. Hit the backup quarterback that came in. The pressures that you just mentioned. Uh, they, they were the best position unit on the team tonight, I'd say, for Tennessee. Yeah, and, and Tyler Barron and Bar Byron Young showed up big. Amari Thomas was awesome. Aaron Beasley looks like a much improved player at linebacker. Um, and, and I think Tim Banks did a good job. You know, when you have guys coming free on blitzes, that's a good job as a defensive coordinator since he had that. You know, Wesley Walker got a sack on a fourth yep. down in the second quarter. And then Flowers, I think, was unblocked on the, on the big play in overtime, too. So um, that was the game plan, be aggressive, go after these quarterbacks, and, and, it, and it worked out for him in the end. Yeah, and the offense wasn't pretty, but Cedric <laughs> Tillman was a beast. Didn't yeah. play perfect football yeah, either. Yeah, McCoy made some good plays, too. Drew McCoy did. Jalen Hyatt looked good. Uh, Jalen Wright had a key fumble, but I thought up until that fumble, he looked really yeah. good. Uh, so not a not a great offensive night for Tennessee, but enough. And, and you were going to need a game at some point where the defense and special teams kind of picks you up. That was tonight. So he's Patrick Brown. I'm Ben McKee live from Heinz Field here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Plenty of postgame coverage at Go Balls 247 from Tennessee's thrilling overtime win over Pitt. We've got podcasts coming your way. We've got postgame videos, and we've got plenty of written content. So uh, enjoy the rest of your night. He's Patrick Brown. I'm Ben McKee.